Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about this video because this is the first video of 2017 and I want to wish you all a happy new year. May it be prosperous. May you find peace, happiness, joy, whatever it is that you're looking for in this new year. My prayer is that you will find it. So this is, like I said, my first catch up with me video for 2017. And I have quite a few things that I want to show show you and share with you. And so we're just going to jump right on in. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much to Mr. Kevin Williams who sent me this cute pen that I absolutely love. And I hope you can see that. It says two years on it. Let me hold it this way. It says two years on it. And it is because I celebrated last year two years as a travel agent and with my travel business. So I am looking forward to all of the wonderful things that are going to happen in that business in this year. And I already have three people that I have to look up travel for. So I will be busy over the next couple of days doing that. But Kevin, thank you so very much for always thinking of your team, always sending us uh, plaques, pens, and everything else just to encourage us and keep us, you know, lifted in our business. Thank you so, so very much. Now, um, I want to share with you my planner. Now, a few months ago, I showed you all my new planner. And I told you that I went with the Happy Planner. And this was the box set that says Happy 2017 on it. So, I'm going to show you my... Uh, spread for this week as well as last week since I didn't do a catch up with me video last week now let me say this before I show this to you most people that have planners right they decorate their planners you know by weeks well unfortunately I don't have that kind of time and I don't want to spend that kind of energy so what I did I took the last three days and I went through this planner from January to December decorating my planner so every week is already pre-decorated the monthly layout already has stickers and notes and things on there birthdays and all that kind of good stuff so i just took three days like i said and i did all of that because i just really don't have the time to do this on a weekly basis so let me show you last week's layout kind of simple if you will so here it is here it is and let me show you this week's layout, which I actually have not written anything in, and I need to do that. But and it wasn't because I was going to do this video. I just actually hadn't written anything in it. So this is this week's layout. And um, I love these stickers. Now, I got this. This, this um, layout was a download that I got from the Etsy store, and I can't recall which uh, who who did these stickers but if i find it i'm going to link it in the description box and there were i've never done this before and to be quite honest which i probably won't do it again because it does take a lot to uh downloading the stickers is fine and copying it onto the sticker paper that was easy as well the problem is is cutting everything out because you don't want to cut it too close or too short because you have too much of a white border and that was just a nightmare in and of itself so if I get more stickers from the Etsy store I will be sure to get the ones that are all red that you know that I get by mail that I can just peel off stick on and keep it moving but I actually forgot that um, the happy planner makes their own stickers and so I went out and bought a ton of those as well so as we move on through the weeks you'll see those and what I'm going to do is every week I'll show you my spread for the week. Just, and you know, and th because before, remember, I was showing you my calendar for the month. Now you'll get to see it for the week. So, like I said, I am really happy with how everything turned out. Um, like I said, it took me three days to get all this stuff done. But it is done. So now, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you all the monthly layout. This is the monthly. As you can see, I have stickers to note things that I need to remember or to do like I have um, my catch up with me videos will post on Mondays my blogs on Tuesdays travel videos on Wednesday and coaching videos on Thursday and then of course my weekends are spent filming and editing so 
uh, that's pretty much constant throughout um, the year. And I noted that on the 30th, my great nephew Taj is, is his birthday. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I've already started thinking about what I'm going to get him. And hopefully I don't go overboard, but we'll see how that goes. And let's see. What else? What else? Oh, and then right at the beginning of each month, there is this page where you write down things that you're currently doing, this month's goals, and of course you can note any birthdays, and it has important dates, a little doodle section, and it shows you the current month in the middle, and then the previous and the um, the previous month, and the the past month at the top, and that is up here. Here are the things that I'm going to do. These are the things that I'm currently doing. And then you have this section at the bottom with important dates, which, which is here, and a little doodling section. So I do need to finish filling these out. I did write down my goals for the month, but I have to fill in everything else, and I will be sure to do that. Now, this is what I'm excited about. And let me tell y'all, if y'all missed the sale that Michael's had on over the last couple of days, their Happy Planner items were 60% off. Y'all, I am not playing. You should have been in there. And they may still have some things on sale. I'm not sure. But, you know, you can always go online and get a 50% off coupon. So, what I did yesterday was I added the... Now, if you, if you know anything about the Happy Planners, um, they have uh, the box sets. There is one for strictly dealing with fitness. Now, I didn't necessarily want that as my, you know, calendar for the year. But I was excited when I saw that I could get the inserts for taking care of your fitness. And so this is what it looks like. This is how it comes. Now, like I said, if you get that box set, the uh, Happy Planner for fitness, all this is already in there. And then on the back, it just shows you what each month's divided sections look like and your stickers and all that kind of good stuff. So this is what it looks like. Now, there are four months worth in each pack. And, uh, and, and, well, I'll get that to get to that in a second, but there's four months in each pack. So of course I bought three packs cause that'll take me through the year. So I have, so the, what I did was I added this to the back part of my planner. Now, this is why I chose the happy planner. You see this disc, uh, the discs here, let me turn it this way. The discs that are right here, I love these because it allows my planner to expand. Now, I probably could put eight months, probably the whole year, in this planner if I wanted to, but I didn't want it to be too big and, you know, bulky. So I only put the first four months in, and then as, you know, I move on, I'll take those out and put the next four months in. So as you can see, I have January through April. Make sure I, you can see the tabs along this side here. And so if I flip over to January, which is today, so here is the month where you can write in your numbers. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this section just yet, but I'll figure it out. And I love that the next four weeks, the next four weeks, I'm sorry, in the month, the layout looks like this. And yes, I've already written all my measurements. I'll get to that in a second. But so what you have here is Monday through Friday. And I wrote the dates at the top. And then there is a section for me to write down my breakfast, morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, and dinner. Then at the bottom here, I can write in my exercise for each day. So I've already filled that in because I know what I'm going to do. So tomorrow, I mean, so today, I'm sorry, is my squat program, my bench program, and cardio. And then at the bottom, I love this, you guys, because I need to start tracking my water. So every day you have... Uh, what is this? Two, four, six, eight, ten boxes, ten little circles where you can check off your water intake. So I'm super excited about that. And so, like I said, I just have January through April in here, four weeks for every month. And this is a great way to stay on track. And like I said, y'all probably, I'm not sure, I'm going to show it to you again, but you probably saw my measurements as of January the 1st. And then I wrote all those down and I did chest, bicep, thigh abs, hips, and calf. 
And because my dominant side is my right side, I did the measurements for my thigh, my calf, of course, on the right side. And then I put in my starting weight. Now, I fooled you because I didn't write anything in there, but I do have it on my sticky that's sitting in front of me. So I'm going to add that in. And I'm just looking forward to the progress that I'm going to be making because y'all know I'm going to be in Cancun at the end of the month celebrating my big sister's 50th birthday. And this sister girl got to look good. So I'm excited about that. And what else? Oh, so if you're familiar with um, Michael's planners, they have a planner uh, brand called Recollections, and it's kind of similar to the Erin Condren. So if you like Erin Condren, but you don't want to spend sixty to eighty dollars for that planner, go to Michael's and get the Recollections planner. It's it's pretty much the same thing, just cheaper. So anyway, they have these books. When you go in, they have these books, right? So this one says budget on it, right? But they have these books and everything you can think of. Event planning, goal setting, you name it, they have it. Well, I got this budget book because my thing in this new year is to really work on my budget. And so I bought two of them because I think this only gave me like eight months in it. So I bought another one so I can, you know finish the year strong of course and then be ready to, to flow right on into the new year so let me just give you a sneak peek of the first page now let me be honest with y'all i have two i told you that so the one that i've already written in i'm not gonna show you that one but i will show you this one and so this is what the layout looks like um i hope you can see that on both sides and it just gives you the same thing uh, for each week now this is the part i'm loving it's called your spending tracker Love, love, love this. So I'm going to be using this starting the first, which is today. Anytime I spend my money on something, it's going to go here. The date. So you write down the date, the item, the amount. And you'd be surprised at the end of the week what you're actually spending your money on. So I want to encourage you guys, if you're not tracking your budget, please do. Because you don't want to just constantly spend money. And I know I've done it in the past where I spend money. And then by the end of the week, I'm like, you know what? I had x number x amount of money in my wallet lord what did i spend my money on because i just can't remember but i know i spent it on something so this is going to keep me focused like i said they have this at michael's please be sure to get your budget book so you can start getting on track and staying on track now last but no, no i'm gonna say that for last i'm gonna say that for last so i want to show you all something that i found at um michael's because you, know, you can find everything there i found these cute candy cane spoons and when i tell you guys i am super excited so this is what it looks like they're spoons they're can it's candy canes but they look like spoons i hope you can see that so and this one they have they show it dipped in a cup of hot chocolate right here at the bottom so i am when i'm finished as soon as i get finished filming this video i'm going over to my sister's house and i'm excited because i'm taking these spoons with me because i know she has some hot chocolate and i cannot wait to use it so i'll let you guys know next week how it worked out and last but not least two things and i, I promise i'll let you be so you not you guys know that I don't do a vision board and I don't knock people that do. I think they're lovely. I think they're wonderful. Maybe one of these days I will do one, but I am a visual person. And when I set goals for myself, I want to be able to see those goals. I want to be able to update them. And, and the more I see them, the more I strive to, to stick with those goals, if you understand what I'm saying. So I decided last year to do a vision book and I'll be sure to link that video in the description box if you haven't seen it, but I did a vision book. Well, when I bought the book that, you, that you'll see in that video, I also bought the second book. And I love it. The cover says, be bold, be charming, be sharp, be generous, be silly, be amazing. So I got this book when I got that one. And I hope you can see the writing on it because that's what it says here. And I love it. And like I said, it's, you know, filled with just online, uh, uh, I'm sorry, with line pages. They're all blank so I can write in what I want. Now, here's what I really want you to notice. I made, last year, the paper clips that I used, I got those, I found them at the, the Dollar Tree. This year, I've been looking at a lot of DIYs on how to make your own cute paper clips. Y'all, when I tell you, I am so proud of myself, I am. So, as you will notice, the paper clips, hope you can see that, the paper clips right here, I made those myself. So, let me take them off um, and show you up close. So, 
this one is a pretty bronze color. This is so pretty. When I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. So I hope you can see that. And isn't that the cutest thing? And so essentially, what I did was, um, I'll turn over the back. So essentially what I did was I put some, uh, use my hot glue gun and put a dollop of glue right here. And then you lay the paper clip on top. Bam, it's locked in. Now, what I will need to do is find some uh, paper that's that's the color of this ribbon and I'm going to put it on the back to cover this and even if I can maybe I'll just use a, a black piece of paper because I have plenty of that so I have it in this beautiful like I said this bronze color but I also have three at uh, three in that color but I have three in this pretty gold color look at that absolutely love 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 it takes just a few minutes to make them and so, and I have some more that's left in that pack, but I need to find white paper clips because they have either white stripes or white dots in them. And I just didn't really, I didn't want to use the black paper clips for that. So I'm going to be working on that. Now, I bought my mom a book so that she can do her own vision book. And I made her some paper clips as well with these really pretty flowers on it. So I'm glad that she likes those. And like I said, I'm just, I am super excited about where this year is going to take me and i hope that you are excited about it as well and let me see i think that's it no i had two more things i promise two more things i'm gonna let you go so at four o'clock on yesterday four o'clock on yesterday i did an interview with a young lady from facebook and i'm gonna link her channel in the description box as well because i want you to check out the videos because mine will be up there i'm not quite sure when it'll be uploaded but it will be there and so i did this interview where i get to talk about what i love talking about and that's uplifting people so you know like i said i knew last year that this year was going to be a really great year for my coaching business so that is the start you know that opened the whole door for me to really start to build my platform as it comes as it relates to speaking so i'm super excited about that and i thank you miss joanne for allowing me to be on your show and do the interview uh what else i have coming up in march i'm doing a vision book event in connecticut so as i get closer i'll let you know how how that is if you're in the area i would love for you to come out and be a part of it and the paper clips that i showed you Everybody is going to get handmade paper clips. Y'all, I'm supplying everything for this event. The only thing that the people coming will have to bring are any pictures, um, washi tape, or anything else. Anything they want to decorate the plant, their uh, vision book with, they'll have to bring that. But I'm supplying the book, the paper clips, your scissors. Um, I found these cute pins that have a crown on the top of the pen so i'm ordering those um i'm also going to provide tote bags this is going to be so great i am super 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 excited about it and like i said as we get closer you know i'll keep you all in the loops so if you're in the area come on by you know and i think the cost for that Right now, I'm thinking the cost of that is going to be $45 per person. But like I said, I am supplying everything. So the only thing you're bringing is whatever you want to decorate your planner. Your, I'm sorry, your planner. Your book with. So I will keep you posted on that. Y'all, this is going to be a great year. I wish each and each of you a wonderful, amazing 2017. This is the time for you all to walk in your gift. Let me leave you with that. Walk in your gift. Think about what it is that you were put on this earth to do and then i want you to focus on it focus on it focus on it and then make it happen regardless of what it is and if you're not sure you know what it is that you are put here for or, or what it is that you should be doing you can always reach out to me you know and we can talk about it and that let's get you on track because i just believe that so many people are not walking in their gift it's just it's sad you know and and um Les Brown says it best. The richest place in the world is the cemetery. And that's because that's where all everybody's dreams has, have died with them. And they never, ever stepped out to do anything with them. And those dreams could have blessed and inspired someone else. So, this is a new year. It's, we all have a clean slate. That's what I love about a new year. We all have a clean slate to do some different things. So, 
Stop being afraid. Step out in into your gift and make that thing work for you. I love you guys so, so very much. And I look forward to putting out more videos. I look forward to more catch up with me videos because I'm honestly, I'm always doing something. And until our next video, take care.